<laughs> All right, so um, appdiagrams.net, which is you navigate to that by choosing draw.io. See, it's draw.io. Uh, you can search in the types of drawings to get and choose a wireframe diagram. So the idea of a wireframe is, for example, this box here just means, well, we'd put an image in there or something like that. Uh, this box means that we've just got some text. We've got some other sort of features here, a bar across the top and um, uh, some features. Now you can change all of those, click on those and delete them, change them, put in some other things, change the shape of your thing. But the idea of a wireframe, these Where are, sorry. Sama is Sama. in the waiting list. Anyway, she's in, thank yeah. you. So yeah, I did like Never that. Um, that's what I want you to do. And the, the, this diagram would be helpful to you if you were creating a website. Um, now, I think you might have, did you guys use wireframes uh, in your uh, HTML assignment? Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, but you will if you continue on uh, to, um, to further sort of subjects in software, you'll have to be drawing diagrams um, which represent um, your software that you develop uh, the idea of a wireframe is to show what a screen would look like. And um, I, I, I use the word abstract there. Can you see how this is abstract? Um, you know, it, uh, we're, we're using the least amount of inf visual information possible to represent what would happen in, on, a, on a screen. So I want you to sort of get something from your, um, from your mobile phone. Like, so I, I'm showing something here. This is, uh, what's this? This is, this is like my Google feed, right? And so the wireframe for that would be two boxes um, with images and then, and then two smaller boxes with some words underneath them. Um, so two boxes, one with each with images and two smaller boxes with some words underneath them. That's this page. Now, of course, this is, yeah, I, that's about what I get when I do. That's a Google Google screen, right? So that's my news coming. Uh, that I could draw a wireframe for that, which would be, as I say, um, I would have two of these image boxes instead of just one. Um, so I'd have to sort of replicate this. Maybe I'd change the size of this and the position of it if I wanted to take this as my standard. You know, I could, I could actually, oh, sorry, uh, I have poor mouse control, it seems. Um, so let's go back to where we were. What happened there? I've probably done something with the size or something. God. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure you can do a better job on this than I am. My, oh, there it is. I've moved, I've moved um, my, yeah, so I've moved my screen over. So yeah, basically you can uh, work with this one or else you can create one, a new one yourself and um, just um, work with that and make something that kind of looks like a screen that you would look at. Now, I, I um, specified uh, in the, um, in the, uh, the Dropbox uh, description that it should be something from your mobile phone. If you want to do a desktop, that's fine too. Um, but I, just to make a wireframe, a, um, the idea is an abstract diagram representing what you would see on a screen. And um, do that using draw.io, use some basic, um, you, you see with the wireframe, we've got some basic sort of um, things that we can use. Um, there's some special tools that we have, buttons, containers. So yeah, okay, so I, I can even have something that looks like a mobile phone there, um, an image. Um, so, so the idea is explore these yeah. tools and use something from there to make something that would look like some thing that you've seen on a mobile phone or on a desktop and then submit that. And, and I, I'm, I'm not saying what it is. It could be any website, anything that you found. How's that sound? Easy peasy? So the idea is, so from start to finish, what you are supposed to do today. You need to get into your browser 
and navigate to draw.io. Uh, when you do that, it will actually put you into this thing app.diagrams.net. Then you'll need to uh, you'll need to search in the um, in the menu that it gives you. You'll need to search there to find wireframes. And so when you go, go to wireframes, uh, it'll give you a few and you can choose one. I've chosen one here. Uh, I want you to notice on the side there, when you do that, you're going to have a bunch of um, tools that are available, especially for wireframes. And I'm sort of just playing with those now. I think, I hope you can see this. Yeah. Um, and so you'll see those there. They're, they're, they use the word mock-up. Now, what, what do they mean by mock-up? This is the abstract thing that I was talking about. What we're doing is we're showing in the simplest visual way what it is that we're trying to show on the screen. So really all we're showing on the screen is we're going to put something there. We're going to put something there. And basically it's going to be this kind of stuff. That's all that I'm asking you to do. All right. So what you should do is find something on your phone like I've got like there. And I can see two images and two uh, places for um, text. And then I've got some little menu down the bottom. I would try and represent that on a screen here. Images, um, you know, fi find something to 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 represent them. Uh, little boxes with text in them. Little menus uh, to represent what I'm seeing on my screen. Now, each of you should produce something different because I assume that each of you are looking at different things on your phones, or it could, if you don't like the phone, you want something a bit bigger, wider, you could do something that you found on your desktop. Uh, that is what I'm asking you to do. Did I answer that 